everybody, it's Elle or Ariel and I'm finally, finally, finally back for another bump date for all of you guys. I am just so sorry that this is like the most delayed bump date I've ever had. I'm usually like way ahead of schedule, or not way ahead of schedule, but I'm like ahead of my schedule in terms of getting my videos made and updating and everything like that. So I'm just like, I can't believe that I've missed so much time with you guys. So the main impetus behind that is Thanksgiving week was just crazy for us. It was so, so busy. Uh, we have this family tradition where on Black Friday, right after Thanksgiving, we go and buy our Christmas tree and we decorate it all together as a family. And um, we also had my mom and my nephew's birthday party. And all of this happened here in our little condo <laughs> with all my siblings and their kids and everything. So it's literally been just a crazy, crazy couple of like, what, two, two and a half weeks? It's been nuts. So anyways, I'm finally giving you guys an update about everything that's going on. Uh, and yeah, let's jump right into it. So as you guys know, at this point, I am officially halfway through my pregnancy, which is just insane to me. Like, I cannot believe it feels like just yesterday it was, you know, the summertime and we were doing IVF. And so I cannot believe that, you know, we're getting into winter and we're going to have a baby soon. And it's just so crazy to me. So uh, because I'm too behind in videos, I'm going to make a couple videos kind of back to back and uh, over the next like week or so and just get them all uploaded. So you're gonna see like this massive input of bump dates and ultrasound updates and all kinds of stuff, guys. So I am catching up with you all. I last finished talking to you guys about week 18. So I'll talk to you guys all about week 19 and 20. So the only big thing that went on um, in week 20 for me was I had my ultrasound, which was absolutely amazing. It was huge because we hadn't seen the baby since seven weeks. And I will do a whole separate video for you guys um, that I'll just like sit here and talk to you guys about all about my ultrasound, my 20 week ultrasound in another update. But I'll talk to you all about weeks 19 for me. So the biggest thing for week 19 was that the exhaustion I had been feeling, the random like mid-pregnancy exhaustion finally lifted and I finally started feeling normal again, which is just wonderful. Uh, so my exhaustion is kind of like at bay right now. And as you can see behind me, I'm actually sitting in the baby's room. This is um, our guest bed. So it's actually a, we removed the bed that was in here before. If I haven't mentioned this already, I don't know what I've mentioned or not, it's been weeks. Um, and it's actually a day bed and it has like, it's a trundle and it goes out and up into a king sized bed. So, it, cause the baby's room is actually like pretty big so we can also like fit people in here. <laughs> um, so right now it's set up as a king bed, but yeah, when the baby's here, it'll be pushed back into a day bed, just like a twin size or whatever. But as you can see, I have some decorations already set up behind me. We have been decorating the baby's room. It's almost done and it was looking great. And then I filled it up with Christmas stuff because my parents came down and brought all of the Christmas decorations with them. And so yeah, now there's boxes everywhere. <laughs> but we will eventually give you guys a tour of the nursery once it's all like pretty and put together. We also still don't have our crib mattress yet. So um, uh, my brother is giving us their crib mattress, so once that's in, it'll look a lot cuter in here anyways. But anyhow, so the biggest thing is that my exhaustion had lifted, so I was finally able to get stuff done in the baby's room, which was really weighing on my heart. Like, I just had a lot of anxiety about, like, I want to get the baby's room put together. I want it to feel peaceful and pretty in there. And, you know, I just, it was really, like, making me anxious. Like, I really just wanted to get most of it done. And the biggest thing is I really knew that, like, going forward, you know, your third trimester, you're really tired and you're feeling really big and you just don't feel like putting together baby furniture, your like state is not in the greatest place to be like hanging pictures on the wall and drilling and all of that. So I wanted to get it done. That My goal was to get it done before my second trimester was over. So that was kind of like the biggest thing that I did this week. The other big thing that we did this week is because I was feeling a little bit better and because we are getting kind of close to um, potentially having our baby <laughs> and we are hitting viability very soon. I wanted to give my husband my childbirth class. I don't teach one specific philosophy. This is just the childbirth class that I teach through the company that, um, that I belong to. So it's just kind of a generic, like, 
this is what labor is, and this is what you can do in labor, and all that kind of jazz, and like, this is what a C-section is, and all of that. Um, so we are still planning on doing hypnobirthing, if I haven't mentioned that already, guys. We're, the classes are coming up, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But uh, I wanted him to have like a general overview anyways, just in case, you never know, and you know, have a good background in what all of this is. <laughs> um, anyways, so I taught him the childbirth class, it was really fun. It was really funny to like be sitting there and teaching my husband something that I teach couples privately like all the time in their homes and this time I had a captive audience and it was great. It was good. It was really fun teaching him that stuff. Um, I also teach like an infant care class so we're going to do that later, much later on, like right before my due date probably. Not right before, but maybe like a couple weeks before my due date I'll give him like the infant care class where I like you know, teach people how to swaddle and change diapers and all of that because he doesn't really know how to change diapers. I think he could probably figure it out in a pinch, but yeah. So anyways, so that's what's been going on. Um, I have been doing a little bit of research about cloth diapering and we did get a couple more cloth diapers in. I'll show you guys. This one is like so cute. Look, it's got bears on it. So we've got this guy. They're all Velcro. I decided to go Velcro. I know some people like insist on snaps and other people insist on Velcro and I just thought for like a new time dad and like we're gonna have potentially like grandparents watching and stuff like that. I want to make sure that like it's, it feels and looks like a real diaper, <laughs> like a disposable diaper and it doesn't have all these like complicated parts. So it's literally just Velcro. Velcro's onto them. I do have one snappy snap as you can see here. This is actually a Bum Genius diaper and I got it for free online. Someone was giving it away because the Velcro was busted. Sorry, the lighting's like super bizarro because it's dark outside and I'm using a, a light. Um, the Velcro was busted, or Velcro, jeez, pregnancy brain. Um, the elastic was busted on it and it needed a replacement of elastic. So I got it for free and I just put new elastic in there. So, which I know a lot of people do on like, Etsy and stuff, so I was like, man, that wasn't too hard, because I know how to, like, you know, use a sewing machine, and I've used elastic before, so it wasn't that hard for me to figure it out, but anyways, so that's what's been going on this week, um, yeah, we're still, um, obviously not finding out the gender, so I'll tell you guys all about how our ultrasound went and how <laughs> we had to get creative with things, um, but anyways, so I'll sit down and do that ultrasound update video for you guys, and I'll also include some pictures in it, because... There is a lot of cute moments. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for now, guys. Do you guys think we're having a boy or a girl? How are you guys doing in your journey? Are any of you guys pregnant roughly the same time that we are? And yeah, that's it for now, guys. And if you like, subscribe. <laughs>